Hi, I'm Erin Kane, and I'm a postdoc at Boston University. This week, you've reflected on your own identities, explored the literature on microaggressions and implicit bias, and reflected on how you interact with others. One of the interesting reflection points in this module was around a light bulb moment, or a moment in the content where you thought differently about your own identity or your interactions with others than maybe you had previously. What kinds of light bulb moments have you had in your training, Erin? Well, a lot of my research is conducted internationally, and that's been an opportunity to think about how my experience as a straight white woman might be different from colleagues of color or men or LGBT students, and also how different aspects of my identity come into play at different times. For example, my Jewish identity rarely comes into play when I'm on campus, but it's often at the forefront of my mind when I'm working in Indonesia with conservative Muslim colleagues. This awareness has helped me realize that there are probably aspects of others' identities that influence the ways they interact with me. And you know, the idea that different parts of us are present at different moments was my light bulb moment the first time I filled out the grid too. It's why I like the tool, because I can reflect back on some of the prompts in different settings and shape my awareness of how I approach each workspace. You can do that too. Though the content in this module was designed to help you reflect on your experiences through the lens of being a postdoc, the thinking here can be projected into whatever career path you end up choosing. Yeah, that's a great point. For example, when I think about mentoring students and involving them in my research in the future, it'll be important to reflect not just on my own identity and how that influences my research, but also to start a conversation with them about their own identities and what might be important to make them feel safe and included in different spaces. We hope that this provides an opportunity and a framework to reflect on your identities and the strengths of an intercultural research group.